So we're going to talk about the difference between a semi-automatic and a full automatic rifle. A semi-automatic rifle means that when you pull the trigger, the rifle fires one round. In firing that round, the bolt slides back, ejecting the spent case, then slides forward, loading the next bullet into place but it will not fire again until you release the trigger and pull it again. That is a semi-automatic rifle. One pull of the trigger, one shot, but it automatically reloads. A fully automatic rifle means that when you pull the trigger, it fires the round, the bolt moves back, ejecting the casing, a new bullet is loaded up, and as soon as the bolt is in place, it fires again, and continues to fire until you release the trigger. A selective fire weapon means that there is a switch on the side of the weapon that lets you select whether it is semi-automatic, full automatic, or burst mode. Burst mode, and it's, it's referred to as a three round burst, means that when you pull the trigger it goes through all the same actions, but it fires three times and then stops. When purchasing guns, and mind you, I live in Texas, we have the laxest gun laws in the United States. And that's a good thing as far as I'm concerned. Purchasing a semi-automatic weapon can be done by simply going in and filling out a form, providing an ID, they do a background check, and if you pass the background check, you get the, the rifle right there. If I wanted to purchase a selective fire or fully automatic weapon, I would have to go get fingerprinted. I would have to go get pictures taken of myself, um, passport pictures. I would have to fill out several forms to the federal government. I would have to pay a $200 processing tax. I would then have to go get another form signed by the local head of law enforcement that basically says he approves the purchase. I would then have to submit all of those forms to the federal government. They would then do a full background check and make the decision, and they do turn them down from time to time, at which point, once the approval is done, I can go back to the person that I'm purchasing the weapon from and pick up the weapon. Now, in most instances, I have to give them the money up front to hold the weapon while I go do all that paperwork. And that paperwork takes up to six months to be approved. Um, owning any fully automatic or selective fire weapon that was manufactured after 1986 is illegal. So if the weapon is not already 30 years old, then you can't buy it at all. So all of the selective fire and fully automatic weapons are collector's items and oftentimes run $30,000, $50,000 a piece. There's something that you do as an investment and is not, are not something that's just readily available that anyone can go buy, even in Texas.